what's up guys welcome back to another video i just got a call from the bike shop and we just got some good news they said the only thing it was uh was my cassette was loose so i think they got that tightened up and probably did a little bit more tuning and just a little bit of maintenance to it because i haven't had it checked out in a while so hopefully it's running pretty good once i go pick it up so we headed there now and i'll see you when we get there all right guys i'm here at golden bear bikes now let's see if they got the window fixed or anything uh nope not that one let's see if the other one is fixed nope not yet hopefully they haven't got broken into again <laughs> let's go check it out let's see what they got in here oh they got marlins over there Uh, what is this top fuel? Still got the remedy 9.8. No wonder they still got it for that price. <laughs> that ain't easy to purchase. All right, guys, I'm waiting on them to finish up my bike a little bit. So I saw this bike and it's in my size in a medium. It's a Trek Dual Sport 2. And I've always been interested in a little gravel commuter bike to be honest i mean i don't think i would buy one anytime soon unless i just had extra money laying around like that but i know a lot of you guys asked about a commuter so i'm gonna ride this bike and see how it feels and let you guys know what i think about it it's cool too because it has the the fork it doesn't have a lot of travel but if you get on some gravel and you want a little bit of suspension it has the fork on the front that you can lock and unlock so if you on concrete you can leave it locked and keep the speed but if you're on uh, gravel or a little bumpy section or road you can unlock the fork this thing would be a real nice commuter i mean i don't do a lot of commute riding but if i was commuting this thing would be sick I like the way it feels, it's, it's comfortable. The tires are pretty smooth. The handlebars are way shorter than what I'm used to though. But it's still super comfortable. This thing will be so much fun just to ride around on. So if, you, if any of you interested in the Trek Dual Sport, it's definitely a great bike to look at it's only 669 so it's not too bad and it feels really good high quality you, you feel like you can ride this thing forever seat is comfortable way more comfortable than the roscoe seat but you guys know i gotta put this to the test you know i gotta see if it can wheelie so let's let's see if this thing can wheelie Oh, I actually think it can wheelie. I just gotta get used to the, the ge geometry in these handlebars. All right, let's see if this thing can wheelie. Here we go. Oh, it can. Oh, <laughs> that's sick. I gotta unlock the fork though, because with these tires being so skinny, it hurts when I land after I drop the front wheel. Let me unlock this. The gear is three by eight. So you don't got too many gears, but it still feels like you got enough to ride gravel in the street. All right, here we go. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. Okay, no more excuses. We can do this. Here we go. There we go. Still kind of hard to keep my balance. There we go. Yeah, it's hard to keep it straight. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time. I bet these dudes like, where the hell is he on this bike? Let's try it again. I can do this. There we go. As long as you find that balance. 
okay. I can wheelie it. It's just hard to keep the balance going left to right. I think I'm done wheelieing this thing. It's not easy with these skinny tires. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know this, because I didn't know it either. This is a Fuel X E8 and it's a small and I didn't know the smalls came in a 27.5 and anything above that is the 29. So I got that confused because I thought Fuel X came in 27.5s, all of them, but it's just the small ones. Yeah, it looked like y'all cleaned it up a little bit. Hey, it looks brand new now. Kind of, sort of. Just getting ready for that trading. I know, man. So I got a week until it hits the floor, probably. Yeah, maybe less. Dang it. All right, and it, this was what was loose, right? Just this back here? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah, because it was popping. And I had the, the other bike I had, or that I have, it had that same issue where it was popping and I thought it was coming from it's there. Like that green yeah. Yeah, you do a lot of with that one. Yeah. And the they said the bearings were loose back here, so I'm sure that's why this was loose, huh? Oh, okay. Okay guys, I got the Trek Roscoe 8 back. They cleaned it up for me and everything. So shout out to Golden Bear Bikes for always taking care of me for sure. But yeah, they uh got the bike cleaned up and everything. They said the cassette was loose. So it was just a little bit loose back here. So it really, it didn't even end up being the bottom bracket. It was just loose back here. And I think it's because I've been doing so many wheelies with this thing that it just caused some stuff to loosen up. But I had that same issue with my wheelie bike. The um, the brackets on the back, on the back uh, cassette, or it don't even have a cassette on the back, whatever it is, it was loose. The, the bolts, the bearings were loose back here on my other bike. So that's probably what happened to this one too is from the wheelies and all the, the weight and pressure on the back. But it didn't end up being anything serious, so that's good. They said they would still accept the trade and give me a good trade in. So I might do that because I got some good news for you guys. Hey, I can't believe it. They told me that they have a couple Remedy 8s in. They just got them in today. So I'm hoping that I can be able to get one before they put them out on the floor. They said it'll be about a week before they put it out on the floor because they still have to build it. But I'm really hoping that I can somehow find a way to get that bike. And if I got to trade mine in, I will. But I honestly really don't want to. I really want to keep the Roscoe. But if I have to trade it in, then I might do it. But I'm hoping to try to get that Remedy 8 while they have it, but we'll see. But I think that's gonna do it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you enjoyed the little test ride I did on the Trek Dual Sport. I mean, it's not a mountain bike, but I know a lot of people ask me about commuting and stuff like that. So I figured while I was waiting on my bike, I might as well ride that one since they had it in stock and had it in a medium. That was the only option I had to, to ride a bike. They had some Marlins and some Roscoe's, but they were all small. so. I just tested out the dual sport because it was a medium and I know a lot of you guys were asking about commuting and that bike is excellent for commuting. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video.